Thank you, Mayor. We are actually uh, most of thanks to Councillor Smith Cole, which I fully endorse what he said here tonight. And I would like to congratulate uh, Inder Singh and his family working so hard in this borough. I uh, know in this thing it is family for more than 30 years in this thing. And uh, in this thing he's done very hard work within the Sikh community as Liam Smith said, said it. And we are proud of in this thing it is family within the Sikh community, the hard work he did, not in Bark and Degna, actually throughout uh, England and India as well. And actually I learned the lesson from him 20 years ago to go to community work as well. And driving lesson at family level, so I think he gave a lesson to my son, to my daughter. So he learned the lesson, the uh, driving lesson from him, which is a length to uh, safety driving when we are every day going. And having said that, you know, Mr. Mayor, I would like to again congratulate him the thing. He deserved this award. He brought, brought me to be an Indian and security man for sitting in this chamber. Congratulations. I will now call Councillor Industry General to receive the award certificate. Congratulations. I will carry on to do that one. 
So once again, may I thank my elder sister, who picked my name, same name, her name is Indirko, my name is Indasin, and who looked after me in my childhood, and I'm really, really feel proud to see her among us today. So thank you, Mr. Leader, particularly when 11 years ago, when our leader was elected leader, I was elected mayor, and now he is going to retire, and before he retires, he has, you see, not helped me the opportunity I have got, yes, for this wonderful, you see, the lifelong memory and award on behalf of the community. This award, as I said, not only for me, it is for the community as a whole, for ethnic community, for Asians, for Punjabi, for Sikhs, then lastly for my family. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor Jaho. I will now call on Councillor Bram Brandley to speak on in support of uh, Stephen Roy Thompson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, it wasn't until Steve was uh, nominated for this award that I found out what his middle name was. I didn't realise it was Roy. I've known Roy 25 years and never realised it even had a middle name. But anyway, I'm, so I've known Steve for 25 years. I've been watching football at Daniels Football Ground now for nearly 30 years. And I was first introduced to Steve. Uh, one Saturday afternoon, we were playing Boston at home. We lost two one. Not that I'm any retentive about this kind of thing. We lost two one, and I was introduced by a councillor. Lots of people in this room will remember him. A guy called Fred Tibble. And Fred turned every match at Dagenham. And whenever he chaired meetings, he always tried to make sure the meetings were finished. He was chair of social services. He tried to make sure the meetings were finished so at least he could get to the second half at Dagenham. And when Fred passed on, we had a minute silence for Fred, uh, January 2004, and we went on to beat Shrewsbury 5-0. About six months later, I met a, an officer who used to work for social services, who asked about Fred, and I said, unfortunately, he passed on. And we both agreed, it can be a cliche when most of passes on, it's what they would have wanted. Well, we battered Shrewsbury 5-0, and that's definitely what Fred would have wanted. Well, I've got to know Steve very, very well over the past quarter of a century. We've had many, a, a, shall we say, a convivial session in the clubhouse uh, after games. I suppose we've, we've learned a lot about each other. We all know what the club has currently achieved. And I like to think this award is Steve's, but it's also a recognition of the contribution that the football club has made to our community, particularly uh, in the recent past. But having said that, myself and Steve and others have had to sit on opposite sides of the table for tough discussions when the old Dagenham Football Club and currently Dagenham Redbridge were not doing as well as they are now. And we've had to have some very, very hard discussions over the years. But we've come through, and it's because of Steve and others that this club has achieved so much and is where it is today. Steve manages the finances of this club and the affairs of this club brilliantly. Now he could have done it without the support of the current board, but I've always found Steve has a personal integrity that is perhaps a bit too rare in modern football. He's well known at various levels that the club has played at for his integrity, his hard work. But I also like to think, but well, I know, I don't think I know, He's backed that up with a very, very good level of cunning. Steve can be as cunning as Baldrick on a good day. <laughs> he has a knack of persuading people to do things that they wouldn't perhaps otherwise have done. Or of parting with money, which perhaps they wouldn't otherwise have wanted to part with. 
It's a brilliant skill, and one I, I very much admire. I haven't got it personally. And as for somebody who follows football and, and, and listens to what goes on, a compare and contrast, I read a news, uh, an article just this week, Darlington, one of our opponents, a good club, a good, a good team, sorry, so I say, not necessarily a good club. Five million pound in debt, losing 52,000 pound a week, and have gone into administration for the point. <laughs> when I read about this nonsense, I just think to myself, this ain't gonna ever happen at Dagenham and Redbridge with the current people and Steve Thompson in charge. It's simply unthinkable. Well, Steve, I know, likes and respects our local community. And the football club is now more involved, more embedded in the community than it ever has been in the past. Anti-racism work, work in our schools, involving the youngsters, coaching, and what doesn't happen too much in football these days is clubs finding young players, bringing them on and improving them. We'd like to see rather more of that. And in the wider community, Steve's involved in the Chamber of Commerce. He's playing a key role in Living the Dream Trust, along with Jeremy, who is here tonight. And that's a trust that was set up to help support athletes in whatever sport that are in, in national squads and have the potential to participate in London 2012. And indeed, Stephen Holt Football Club, by hosting the event and being involved, is contributing immensely to that process. Steve is also involved, along with myself and the Council of Carpenter, in Barking College. He chairs the audit committee and he has an incisive view and a very knowledgeable view of the college and how FE works. I think possibly some of that might be down to his wife Maria, who's here tonight. I know she works very, very hard in keeping Steve on the straight and narrow, just as Barbara works hard in keeping me on the straight and narrow. Um, <laughs> do they succeed? Who knows? Oh, one thing that has always struck me about Steve, he's a problem solver, he gets things done. He's always been pleasant, approachable, and cheerful, and that is despite his problems with rheumatoid arthritis. And that is a very painful and debilitating condition, but that does not inhibit him in any way in doing the job he does for our community and the Dagenham Football Club. But in conclusion, I, I don't often come into this chamber and make a speech uh, and quote leading Tory politicians in support of what I'm saying. But just a couple of months ago, myself and the leader were in the boardroom and talking to Lord McWhinney, who has been a prominent conservative politician, and he's now chairman of the Football League, and I have to say I think he's done quite a good job. He was on his regular visits in just the football clubs, and he said two things that, that I feel particularly proud of, and he didn't say to Steve Thompson, he didn't say to the, to the board of directors, he said it to myself and the leader, and he said two things. First one, he said, what this club is doing in the community is fantastic. And secondly, he said, I wish all my clubs were as run as well as this one. And I think that is a ringing endorsement for Steve and the entire set of the Diamond Redbridge Football Club. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr Mayor, we have a game on Monday. A home to Brentford, kick off 7.45. It's on Sky, but don't just watch it. Please turn off. We're playing Brentford. It's bound to be exciting. There's bound to be a few goals going for us. <coughs> Hope to see you all there. And Mr Mayor, I have the intense pleasure in moving my old mate Steve Thompson to the Mr. Mayor, that Steve Thompson has arranged 100 free tickets for our young people this Monday night. 100 free tickets. Could uh, Mr. Thompson come forward for the award, please?